What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I want to talk about smart notifications. Uh, finally, it's here. That's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. Um, it's 2021. It's already been uh, so far so good for VIP. Um, after the whole uh, hard work of making uh, switching from the fourth generation to the fifth generation, uh, now the starting uh, of all the fun and amazing tools, uh, it's going to be available and starting from uh, yesterday like what was yeah it was yesterday we started with the uh, accounting and uh, it's really brilliant i don't know if you guys watched the video uh, if you did not watch the video make sure you do so and uh, let's talk about uh, smart notifications which is really really important so obviously when you when you add your recommendation right here that's the, we don't see that uh, we want to see that when the customer comes back so when you add recommendation and saying hey you need new tires you need new brakes uh, last uh, last uh, when the customers comes back we want to see that notification but we want to see it without interrupting the flow uh, and we want would like to see when the last time the customer was was uh, at your shop what was the last mileage and uh, when was the last time you did the vehicle inspection on the vehicle uh, how about some uh, the oil filtering oil capacity for that vehicle? Uh, so let's check it out. Um, this only works on existing customer obviously because a new customer you have zero uh, zero history Excuse me uh, zero history for that uh, For that vehicle. So let's check it out. We're gonna select the uh, Pontiac GT and you're gonna be doing the same thing It's not really gonna interrupt your flow, but all of a sudden you're gonna see something popping up from the right side and you still can work it doesn't really matter but uh, i would definitely look into it see what it says um so in this case you know it, it, there is no recommendation but uh, you can see the last time the vehicle was serviced uh, the last mileage was recorded wasn't even entered and it's kind of cool like to keep you um like more disciplined uh, the oil capacity is right there and the oil filter is right there and the last time uh, the vehicle was inspected so let's just click OK and let's just say this uh, this time the, the customer is here for alignment and we notice that the car needs uh, needs uh, new tires and uh, rear brakes. So I assume that's the problem. And 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 front struts. One end is good. And we get enter the mileage this time. Well, if you have uh, the enforced mileage. It's gonna make you add the mileage anyway, so when you click on the band, well, it's set the mileage to 111,000 on this car. And we're gonna uh, pay the invoice and pay and print. So let's see uh, if this uh, customer comes back with that vehicle. What happened next time? Remember, we we added uh, for, uh, for the recommendation um, new tires. When he comes back next time, you gotta search for him and select his vehicle and again just like if you're doing let's say he's here for the whole change and you're gonna see again something popping up right here and in this case look the last mileage was 211,000 on um, the last recommendation was um, he needed a new tire so this is the time for you uh, to try to sell the tires again and sell the brakes again and even if the, you're gonna see the vehicle inspection when was the last time you did the inspection on it and if it's been over three months you should be doing uh, the vehicle inspection probably we're gonna be making it even better like uh, we set the interval for the for the vehicle inspection let you know it needs an inspection again and um, it's, it's really important to inspect the vehicle and we, that's why we had the DVI right here uh, if you look at the vehicle inspection uh, last time uh, uh, his antifreeze and oil wasn't that great so he's here for the whole change uh, we're trying to sell him the, uh, the antifreeze again so keep that in mind um, if you want to bring it back it's right here whatever it says uh, just right above the notification from windows just double click on it and it brings it back you can see it anytime uh, you can see it for any vehicle pretty much just double click on it and just click OK uh, so this is just the beginning of it. Obviously, we can do so much with this uh, smart notification uh, We can bring uh, change the data anyway 
uh, possible that that meets and, and make your uh, business uh, more profitable um, uh, there's something I want to be doing I don't know when now uh, just don't don't quote me on that but definitely there's something I want to do I've been wanting to do that for a long time I know uh, um, identifix has it where you can ask a question uh, to the <coughs> to the other other repair shops um, we're definitely gonna be doing that it's gonna be I when I make it it has to be simple it has to be direct and uh, so you're gonna be able to ask a question or answer a question help each other out uh, but it has to be directly questions about um, like uh, something related to cars not like chatting and stuff so it's gonna be directly questions like forms or, or a blog um, uh, it's really important uh, our community is increasing more and more um, we have uh, 1200 customers we were, were growing more and more um, we have our own group which is called VIP shop owner groups uh, make sure you join that group uh, it's a private group and you can buy and sell and advertise in that group uh, we have 1.7 K members so far uh, so make sure to take advantage of that uh, people post and try to sell stuff um, you always never know what's on and you can it's either you if something that you're looking for or something that uh, uh, you want to sell if you have an extra part uh, you can do so you can do so to so keep that in mind um, another thing um, under make sure you subscribe to our VIP YouTube channel um, uh, that's something really important so you can stay up to date uh, knowing what's 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 new with VIP so keep that in mind um, and uh, at 2021 man uh, after the hard work of recreating VIP and making the fifth generation all the amazing stuff is coming along and for the customers who still um, using the fourth generation I'm kind of excited a little bit because I don't want that pressure on me uh, to switch everybody right away uh, we're switching uh, slowly from the fourth generation to fifth generation I believe we're just at 25% uh, uh, so we still have a long way to go but keep in mind uh, for all the uh, customers that are using uh, the fourth generation uh, the fourth generation will be depleted at some point our job to keep everybody on the same generation that's why we're not charging for upgrades um, because maintaining uh, so many uh, versions of it it's really hard <coughs> so we're giving you the time uh, all the time that you need <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, we're giving you all the time that you need, but eventually everybody has to switch to the fifth generation. And after the fifth generation, we're going to have the sixth generation. And I don't want anybody to be falling behind. Uh, otherwise, you'll have to start from scratch. You, we cannot migrate your data. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, so anyway, that's it for today. I appreciate you guys watching. Until next time. Thanks.